Threats undetected. Oh, this is just easy, Raph. If you Raph, you don't lose. I like this card, but I don't think it's an early pick in draft. So yeah, we'll take the Raph. We're passing. A land is good. Horse is fine. Interference scat. Oh my god, why? Why? I know this is not what I want to do. But it's too good to pass. I would love just to take Cavalier here. Rager's great. Prodigy's good. Outrider's good. Espionage, Iconoclast. I'm sad I had to take this. NGL sad. Now I have to take like stupid sexy root walla here. You know what? Maybe I take scout the wood. No, no, no. <laughs> Trying to talk myself into it. I probably should just take root walla. This is likely to wheel anyways, right? But scout the wilderness is really good with wrath and really good with herd migration. It gives you two tokens to start drawing cards with Wrath. Wrath has the pump ability. Ramps you to migration, gets you extra land types if you don't have just duels. Yeah, but it's not like we want to take that many Scout the Wilderness. Rona's a Vortex and a Bortuk Bone Rat. I like Vortex. I like the cheap interaction. I don't think I need the Bortuk. I think I like this more, yeah. Hell, I would play a bunch of Interference, too. Oh, man. Ah, God, I want to take Rager. That's the second one we've seen. I'm going to take the Geyser. Geyser, Rager, and Duel are all nuts. If that wasn't double on color duel already, maybe there's more temptation, but I could I could still be like blue white splashing herd migration. That's you know, there just wasn't a good other choice in the root wall of pack, so. A seductive turtle, thank you for the 28. The uh the one one? I don't think that one one is all that high of a pickup. Yeah, all the cards I've taken are good quality, high quality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm just going to put this root wall in the sideboard for now. Take a little sixth pick terror. And then don't take any green fixing during the draft, and just casually move that over here. And great, perfect. Tide Turner's decent. With uh, the plan that we have, I think I like taking that over Sojourner. I would take a land here if there was, but there's not, so we won't. Funny how that works out. I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't, you know? No, we're, we're most likely still playing this in our deck. I'm just trolling. We haven't seen many lands, so I don't feel bad about not really prioritizing the lands that we have saw. Because it was a red-green land, right? Like, if there was a blue-white land, or a blue-green land... Sure. Hmm? Academy Wall's fine in this type of deck, too. Buys us a lot of time. The creature to tap for Wrath. Blue-white land was pack one, but that doesn't count, right? Because we're not taking that pick one, pack one. Now, we could wheel it if we get lucky, the Idyllic. Idyllic uh, Shorefront? Shorefront? Is that what it's called? Idyllic something. Beachfront! Darn it. Sorry, I own so many Shorefronts. Got it confused. <clears throat> 
one of my many islands. That's a great sign. Ninth pick wheeling the interference. Chizo, how many Gamba dum-dums do you have? Chizo starting a Gamba. All right, you guys got five minutes on heads or tails. Heads, tails. Five minute prediction is up now. That's another great wheel. Prodigy also good, but I think I like taking the espionage here. All right, Gamba's up. And if you haven't already bet, I am going to roll five times just to see what happens. Heads, heads, tails, heads, heads. All right, four heads in five flips. What's the next one going to be? That will determine all of your dum-dums. We're wheeling some good cards, by the way. That espionage and the prodigy pick was uh, good. I don't think we're going to main deck the negate. Ooh, geez, look at this. Yeah, blue spells are just open. Damn. No today. No corn today, Urtai. What is this? Tribute? Outrider? I would probably take a land if there was a land here. I mean, we could just take the Guardian. This card's very good, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to fit the deck all that well. I kind of like taking Outrider here. We have reason, like we have two red kickers. We have the herd migration. Is this bad to take? It can't be that bad to take. This card's great, but I don't think it makes sense with what we're doing. Mmm, some juicy card draw. Ah, this is an interesting pick, though. Ah, uh, I might rather have him here. Passing the land is kind of annoying. I don't think Scrutiny is any kind of bomb or whatever. Like, how often are you casting it for more than, like, three, right? In which case, you would rather just have Espionage. <sighs> I'm taking the Burn Spell. There's two ways to think about that pick. The Hurloon Battle Hymn buys me time to cast Migration, right? The other way is scrutiny draws me to migration. You know? Nickus, thanks for the prime, Subby. Nope, we need to start taking lands. As good as the brawler is, this is probably the right choice. Uh, okay. Good pack. I want to take the scat, but we'll take the peaks. Dang, no, uh, no good land here. Scavenger is okay for filler, if you want it. I mean, maybe we take the Grotto anyways. This is probably still fine. Could play the Keldon Strike Team. Nothing wrong with that. I guess the Grotto with all of my Kicker makes sense. I don't think Grotto is a bad fixer. The fact that it scries is surprisingly good. Like, historically, these ones don't have any ability, right? They just do the thing. Ran Portal, no. I say no to that. We have another Espionage here. We have a Bog. I still think Espionage is better than Bog. Well... I would play Mana Worker in this deck, too. The Bog already has utility, so I'll take it. I kind of like Destroy Evil here. I don't know what our deck is going to be. It's going to be like base blue, splash, splash, splash. I'm not going to take Gardener. It's a fine removal spell, though it's not exciting. This is one of those decks where I'm going to play a Meteorite if we find it. Uh, okay, another cheap instant over Scout. 
I don't think I need a second Tide Turner right now, but I would play two of these. I mean, I think the Tide Turner is better than the Figment in this deck. I'm guessing we're going to end up cutting the Figment. Jeez, these wheels. Obby, Twinferno looks really good. At oh god, nine mana Twinferno migration. Can we do it once? <laughs> One time? Uh. Okay, got another Tide Turner anyways. Remember, these help cast the migration early. And how many, like, we have, we have 10 instants and sorceries in this deck right now, so these are just mana dorks. Because my creature count is so low, I have six. Uh, a 1-4 for two doesn't seem very exciting. But we might actually play that. We have one academy wall right now, that's a maybe. And if we, uh... I mean, if we randomly get the Chaplain in pack three, then the Coral Colony will make sense. I mean, I guess in... That was good. I guess in that case, maybe it was better to take the Sentinel to tutor for the Chaplain if I end up getting it. I'm going to take Scat over Mana Worker. I don't even think I want Balmore. I would take it, but th this is not like a good Balmore deck. We're not, we're not smashing faces here. Double off color or codex. I think I'm going to take the double off color. I don't like it though. Playables, we're at 18A. That's good. Man, a lot of good picks here. But this draws cards, and I do have a decent number of blue permanents. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Vortex, great. Nail, great. Geyser, great. Lands, Dece. I'll get Phylon. Nice. Two tear, too good. This deck actually slaps. <clears throat> Just need like a lightning strike or something, or maybe a fires of victory or whatever it's called. Oh, is this bug? It did bug out again. I do not have a second Radiant Grove, right? Aquifer's... Uh, yeah, Aquifer's fine. We have um, two Black Kicker. We have the Vortex and the Espionage, so... My best cards were passed to us, to us. Were they? Maybe. I guess Migration Defiler were passed. Sure. I mean, yeah, obviously I would play Silver Scrutiny if I had it. But I think passing it was fine. Wind Grace is not a good play in our deck. It's Jund Baseline, right? It's too hard to cast. Hey. All right, just a very good creature. Another blue permanent for Defiler. We're at 11 instants and sorceries. Spell count, 21. Looking good. So, good fixing will still be high priority. But a couple more decent spells. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Damn! Lookout, Strider, and an Idyllic. Brutal. Fudge. Strider's so good, dude. Fudge, I hate it. Ah. It's too good to pass. I don't think we need the 4-drop for Curve. What, these Telerian Terrors are 4-drops there. Are you happy? Ooh, yeah. We are, gonna, we are gonna play that Relic of Legends. Over the Mana Worker. Easy. 
There you go. Now we don't even need to care about four drops because we just go turn three, turn four. Vohar also recasts herd migration with nine mana, funny enough, but I guess we should probably take at least one shore up. Just cut like the scavenger. Splash take to the shield or take up the shield. Repossession? No, we're not going to splash repossession, I don't think. Yeah, if I got one late, maybe I would take it. Wow, 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 wee wow, 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 wee wow. Damn it. I don't know. Ah! So what's the cut? To Inferno, I guess? Sorry, we're not living the dream anymore. Cut Raph? I'm gonna cut you. Watch the idyllic wheel. Nope, just stinky, sexy turtle. All right, I think that's the deck. Yeah, these terrors are looking real good. Wish I'd picked up one more geyser. Wish I'd picked up one more espionage. Maybe another scatter. I think this is good, though. All right. Aquifer, yes. But, oh, I mean, I guess we're just playing all of our lands, aren't we? I don't have any way to search up a basic. Is there a need for a planes here? We have one, two, three land white sources and then relic. Tops, we would run one. We don't need the wrath activation all that much. We just need a lot of blue mainly. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need like six islands. Swamps, we don't need any. That's good. Mountains, one, two, three, four. Maybe five? Forests. One, two, three. Maybe one? Like that? That looks good to me. Let's go. Full deck is a win condition. Every single card. This win condition, win condition, win condition, win condition. What's up, John Orange? Thanks for the eight months of Primo. Look at that! Every color but green now. Oh, we're dead. Uh, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle interference this turn. Because we're gonna be tapping out for wall next turn. Oh, that's nice. That's real good. Oh, oh, wait up, wait up, hold up, just a second. Oh my gosh, we could actually have zero mana Telerian Terrors in this deck off of Defiler. God, it's so hard to discard Shore up here, but it might be right. I hate it. I think it's right, though. I'm just going to lead on tears. Especially since we drew this. One more untapped land means we get to go... Um, Defiler into... Defiler into immediately draw a card. Also, we might just win with two tears if they don't do anything. So maybe this is all irrelevant. Yeah, I'm assuming that they're dead.
one card in their hand, I... Fine. <laughs> I have like 10 blue sources in the deck. It says three of the other colors. Uh, what does untap say? Let me double check on blue sources in deck. Six islands, aquifer, grove, islet, grotto. Yeah, that's 10. I'm on the draw. I'm trying to justify keeping this. The opponent also mulliganed. Okay. 10 out of 33. That's 33%-ish. Uh, Let's go there, down, 1, 66, 36. I'll just play it safe. I think, I think you could keep that hand, though. I think you could have kept that opening hand. Would you get punished? Possibly. That card's really gross. Seems like an easy cycle to interference here. Oh, what is going on? Uh... That's really bad. Bounce one, it grows the other. I do have domain with Nael, so if Nael lives here, uh I hope they don't have another play this turn. Anyways, never did not have it. Thanks for the six months of Prime. For a land here, we have the Tide Turner into um, Espionage, though. So, See? Actually, let's get the relic online. That way I don't have to um, really worry about getting too much mana. We can kick the espionage next turn if we want to. Alright, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take six here. Oh, that's kinda gross. You got me. Obviously, I know their Steel Crusher can just blow up the Relic, but... No guarantee that they would do that, right? Ah! If I Espionage there, I could Migration next turn, but it would only be three currently. Dude, getting soloed by that freaking ape. Okay. Now well, let's play out a blocker and we have shore up available. This might have been really greedy.
Okay, clean board. Clean board, clear heart. We in there. Nice, there's green. And there's white, baby! Let's go! I do need to find an untapped land, but... Frostfist Strider next turn. Still pretty good. Whoa! Double white card! Now we know the secrets. They're just missing. Untapped land here wins. Five five tear probably still good enough. Time to smack down Charlie Brown. And scoop in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Just scoop! Thank you. God, that took too long. Please. Keeper. A little bit slow, but definitely a keeper. I guess we draw an untapped land. That would be great. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong land. After I drew island, I should have played bog out. Sequencing error. I don't think we need to hold open scatter on turn three, since they look like they're playing domain. As a result of my land error, I do not get to hold open the him this turn. Just gonna cycle the uh, interference here. Cool whip prod, thanks for the 71. Oh man. We really want to find a white source. Turning all of these into uber cantrips would be freaking fantastic. So why didn't they attack with this last turn? What is the, What are they getting at here? I figure if they use something to kill the tide turner, they have less mana to... Uh, Play a creature out. Ayo! Scat it up, baby! Get out of here! Not today, nerd. Alright, I'm gonna take a big chunk. I could have made their 1 1 token block my tide turner, but. They would still hit me with the sprouting goblin if I did that. Ho-ho. Six, seven, eight, nine. Still dying. Probably just need to battle him that uh, Sprouting Goblin right now before they start drawing extra cards since they have so much mana. I've used all my instants and sorceries! Now Raph is looking pretty sad. Look at that, five of them gone. That's five cards! Okay. Was not expecting that. Okay. 
Well, I mean, they can't attack here. The board's pretty stable. Yeah! <laughs> sure, I'll trade with their Benelish. The fudge is going on! Why do I feel this is more likely a, like, dragon, Elder Dragon War, instead of a, a charge? Somebody in chat has had the same idea. I have sneaky secret wrath activation available. Not this turn, but next. Alright, well, let's force it out if they have it. I'm not blocking with wrath. Huh, they did have charge. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I die to them having... Um, Outrider, I guess. So, let's hope they don't. Oh wait, they don't have blue. Dang it. I should have... I don't think I want to... Uh, I think we're going to chill. I don't think I want to give Vigilance there and attack with the Terror. But maybe I do it next turn. If I find another white source, we can also smack in. Okay. Well, I need to start eating through their small weenies. I think I have to block like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy! <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I just make the same play again. Scary, scary, scary. Ah, I need to reset my RNG. Those games are too close. It's a pretty nice looking hand, eh? Hey, chat. 
Look, if you were a believer in tales, that's your own fault. I'm sorry that you lost the flip, but sometimes these things happen. At the end of the day, it's clearly only a 40-60. It's your fault. I'm going to lead with uh, Sacred Peaks here on the draw so that we can flow stone potentially on turn two. Because I don't want to take in a hits. Yes, you. You're dead. What's your play? Island, yes, good. Pass? I dig it. Good draw. Yes, so we need to play out... Well, it doesn't matter which land, I guess, since we don't have a tap land to play afterwards anyways. The terror becomes ever cheaper. You play Sentry, I play Battle Him, I gain life, or... You miss land drop, and then I have nothing to do. If you don't do anything, how am I supposed to do anything? Yes, 4-4. Four, four. That's not a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I don't really want to use any of these on that. We could just cycle our timelies, though. That's not a bad play. Uh, that's fine. I mean... Let's do it! Blue-green! What are they gonna do? At least Tail Swipe would be a two for one. <laughs> I mean, hey. Two for one's a two for one. You beat the Defiler, my friend. But can you beat... Infinite... Ward creatures. Actually, you know what I like doing here? I like bouncing that and seeing if we can bait out a, uh... Oh no, wait, that doesn't work. Never mind. Never mind, what am I talking about? I'll just do this. That way, if they have the shore up, they just use it. Yeah. The Goyf. Okay. No, oh, they have another tail swipe. That would be bad. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um. Huh. I guess let's kick. Oh, that would have been good. Must block. Illegal blocking. All right, good. Nothing. Yeah, I imagine tear into striders just shake my hand status. Dude, I would love a running sponsorship. It'd be great. Is this fair? I have four ward creatures with a total power and toughness of 18. <laughs> Dude. 
Do, 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 do. Brick. Oh, they already used two one drops, so makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's a good format. Did you join it? This hand's okay. Cycles interference. Maybe it's not actually that good. If we find a white source next turn, I guess it'd be good. Mm, okay, that's not bad. Uh, we might have a problem, though, if they're on the aggro deck. I'm not going to just vortex for no value or tempo. So the awkward thing here is that because I didn't... Um, when I cast this Espionage, I'm going to have to discard a card, but I don't mind discarding Destroy Evil versus Blue-Red. Because by doing so, we also make our Terror castable next turn, funny enough. Nah, 5k is 5, or 3.11. So this was intentional. <laughs> Yep, that's my base pace at Orange Theory. The seven thir uh, 8 on the treadmill. Oh. Okay. Uh, Probably just safer to kill the flyer here. Chances we're getting countered. Makes more sense to play Strider out so I can go double three drop next turn. I mean, I've been running every day for like the last five years, six years. <laughs> you don't do it overnight. The best day to start, right, is today, chat. Even if it's just walking. Go do it. Yeah, I don't mind seeing that. It does really feel like they have a scat. You know what? I'm not going to run into it. I don't want to give them good use of their mana and let them loot that turn. Uh, it depends. Just doing a 5k a day on a treadmill doesn't hurt, but... I go to Orange Theory every other day. Um, and when we do, like, hills and stuff there, yeah. 6, 7, 260 jacked. That's what you meant. You know what I'm going to do here in response? I'm going to bounce their figment in loot. Okay, well that taps them out of blue. Good. Nice. Oh. We have a lot of things we can do here. I mean, it's going to be safest just to kill that stupid doo-doo. Yeah, I need to keep the white source. Sucks. Ah. <sighs> Oh, treadmill's definitely bit easier than uh, on the road. I 
I'm gonna get burnt out here. Uh, I am definitely gonna get burnt out here. I wanted to just kill it and save the timely for their wall. Ah, sucks. I'm still putting them on having scat. We just need to find some, like, Telerian geysers and stuff. Yeah, that'll do it. Most likely dead. What even happened this game? They just hit me like a bunch with Figment. Oh, I guess they played Devastator for a turn. I don't think we made any bad plays. I think it was better to use the inf Infusion. <laughs> All these one mana tears! And we die to some little birdie boys. Alright, GG. Nice hand. Very nice hand. The real reason we lost is because every time we draw Wrath, it's already too late. We've dumped out our hands. I don't think I need to Crystal Grotto yet. Could have killed the unblockable in response to the hexproof. No, because they I didn't loot in time. They gave it they gave it hexproof, and then I got to loot. I'm gonna keep that. And they missed a land drop next turn, so they might just be recasting that next turn. We're gonna have three, t or sorry, four towards domain after I play Nail. Yeah, that's good for us. Okay, and it's pretty nice. <laughs> Let's go! Free toughness, unbeatable. Yeah, they used to be in the store. They're not available right now. Hmm. I don't think we want to be paying life here. Random ass scatter? Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna block their missionary if they attack again. We are pretty far behind. Oh, that's okay. Wow, that went a lot better than expected. Okay, okay, okay. Well, duh. Of course she was traveling. What are we, three and three right now? No, th uh, three and two right now?
God, I really want to nab the last card out of hand. I think we do. Hati Jin. Okay. Please, no top kex. Bro! God. That's so stupid. Man. All right. Come on. Oh, I was at four. I thought I was at five for some reason. Clearly that was not the correct block. Just a brain fart. <laughs> Just clearly a brain fart. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> so I double block the flow stone. They trade with the outrider. I still need to top deck something, but we do have outs. <laughs> God. Uh, all right. Oh, well, that's good. Don't ask because, yeah, uh, there was no rhyme or reason. It was just brain fart. Yeah, I guess. I guess if I go tear, tear, I only take two guaranteed. <sighs> Instead of trading. No, that makes more sense. You're right. I should have also played double tear. So, not only did I punt and then I just brain farted. Man, that deck was so good too. A lot of crappy drafts today.